Hey, hello, hello. Welcome to another edition of our Quarantine Boredom Podcast. We are uh, coming up with creative <laughs> ways to, to spend the time. So far this week, we've talked to an ER doc, we've done a workout, uh, and we've uh, made some cocktails. And now I'm getting hungry, Flash. I don't know about you. I am so excited, and uh, we're so thankful to have current Bravo Top Chef contestant and uh, executive chef and owner of Coco Head Cafe and Pioneer Inn on Maui, which is where she's at right now. The wonderful, the world famous Leanne Wong. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, Leanne Wong. Woo! And like, wait a second, I forgot my cocktail. The, the cameraman's gonna have to go in and get our bottle of whiskey. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yes. All you right. want to hold it? We can do that. All right. Actually, there you go. All right. Selfie mode. There we go. Selfie mode. I actually, Leanne, yeah. thank you for the reminder. I forgot. I forgot my cocktail too. So I'm gonna get my bullet. It's five o'clock somewhere for sure. So if I'm drinking watching... iced Irish coffee, like a Kahlua and coffee here. So I'm nice. uh, trying to stay awake. Nice. Here's here's the daily update on where the bottle, this gallon sized bottle of bullets at. I'm down to about halfway now. I just <laughs> totally bought one of those at Costco, so he's he's actually going to grab it right now. <laughs> Excellent. So you guys will both be drinking the bullet. I love it. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. Okay, so Leanne, everyone's obviously stuck at home right now. Um, mm -hmm. What? And some people might be cooking at home for the first time ever. What are okay. are just kind of some of the key basic things that every home kitchen should have? Okay, for me, I always have garlic, uh, some sort of allium, so like onions or shallots or green onions. Uh, I always have butter. I always have citrus, like lemons or limes. Um, I like to have avocados. We're actually standing underneath my avocado tray. Wow. Ooh. Very nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, look at I that. love it. Cameraman. What about here? Um, uh, Leanne, what about uh, equipment? And every kitchen should have the basic pots and pans and all that. Uh oh, hold on. The cameraman's getting beat down by a toddler with a stick. Oh uh, my god. <laughs> I mean, a pot, a frying pan. I believe everybody should have a non stick hey, frying hey. pan. Hey, no sticks. Put it down. <laughs> Your sous chef is very ambitious. Um, maybe, you know, I, I'm a huge believer in a, solid, a good blender, so. We have a Vitamix. I love my Vitamix so much. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, but today, uh, today, I'm doing something really simple and really easy and sort of like pulling out leftovers, like whatever was in the pantry. And that's usually how we do here is like, I've been home like approximately like two days off of work and I've just been doing nothing but cooking. So... <laughs> Um, Maleko, we need a word of the day. I think, what's what's your uh, your toddler's name? Rye. Okay, so every time you say Rye, because he's going to be grabbing something or <laughs> address him at some point during the show, every time you say his name, we're going to have to drink, okay? <laughs> Yes. Oh boy. So my, my toddler's, my son's name is Rye. We named him Rye. after the noblest of grains, obviously. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he is currently covered head to toe in dirt. He looks like, um, I, I was telling my friend, he looks like an extra from the Miserable right now. So. I love it. <laughs> He's like a excellent. Well, every time you say your son's name, we're gonna drink today. So uh, let's hope that he's actively involved in the cooking. All right. Oh, look at that! She's hand chopping ice for her cocktail. Yeah. Wow, she's putting us to shame with her cocktail. That's for sure. Those are heavy pours. Oh. <laughs> I've never met a chef that doesn't like to drink, by the way. There are actually a lot of chefs who don't like to drink, believe it or not. So What? I've never met one. Recovering. <laughs> Recovering. Cheers. Oh, that makes sense. Cheers, Leanne. Well, cheers, everyone. Here's cheers, to Thank you guys for doing this. Right. All right. Right. Can you say cheers to Uncle? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's literally coming. Yeah, in buddy. Oh my God, he really <laughs> is literally. Move your dumb truck. Right this way. 
actual pile of Thank dirt. You. So, so today, guys, I'm going to do really fast, easy recipe. Um, this is actually going to be our lunch. So uh, this is something that I think everybody has in their house for the most part is the, the, the pre-cooked roasted chicken, right? And as you can see, ours is actually kind of half torn into right now. So <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is how this is how we're gonna roll. And I love it. You know, I actually I'm a big fan of the pre-roasted chicken. You go, there's no labor, and you've already got all the meat you need to feed yourself Mama. for a couple of days. So Mama. And so, there's so much you can do with that once you get the whole chicken. You, 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 you can, right off the bat, you start picking pieces of meat off of it. You get to the end, you've got this incredible carcass for soup base. Uh, you literally just, tear everything off, right? So, yeah. and yeah, I you love know, the, one the of great those. thing about this is that you've got like the white meat, you've got the dark meat, so you can repurpose it for whatever you'd like. The white meat is obviously good for salads, uh, sandwiches. So this is just like, when I'm in a hurry and I don't feel like I want to cook or I don't want to spend 20 bucks on unorganic chicken, you can get a whole roasted one for 10. <laughs> <laughs> if you can find them, Costco has been sold out for weeks at this point. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I heard they were selling just the cases of the raw roasted chickens. Oh really? Yeah. At least, at least that's what they were doing on Kauai, but you had to get a case. <laughs> And then you what? Okay. You just have to hooli hooli them yourself. Mm-hmm. Which Leon also just invested in like six of those beer can chicken roasters. You know, those little wire frames. So we got yeah. like six or nine of them or something. So we're gonna Very have a nice. beer can chicken fest over here. So yeah. yeah, we're basically. I've been spending the past few days just um, cooking, you know, and I, I talk to my guys daily, um, and. We're using this as like a stop down time to actually kind of collaborate in our own homes and really we're hoping to come up with some new menu items for the Cocoa Hut menu when we reopen. And then, um, you know, Pioneer Inn, uh, I just took over in December and uh, the menu that we were currently running was just this transition menu as we're moving to our new concept. Um, so we're actually hoping to reopen as our new concept. So that is what I will be working on in the coming weeks. Hey, don't spill. Leanne, I know obviously it's hard to predict the future, but do you think, um, what, you know, at home right now, everyone's just going to be turning to comfort food more than anything else you would think? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, honestly, like if you are on keto, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> We've had like lasagna and baked ziti and meatloaf and mashed potatoes and we've just been kind of going carbon out here for sure. But um, I think there's a way that you can balance it and stay healthy. You know, I think uh, people are with all this newfound time, it's like making time to find exercise every day, even if it's just like walking in circles in your living room. Um, <laughs> And then obviously just trying not to eat all day. It's really, really hard not to eat just like all day. And <laughs> that is seriously oh, yeah. the toughest part of and this quarantine. Range, yeah. I work from home and I work three feet from my refrigerator. And so that is just a constant <laughs> struggle for me. Yeah. Just it looks like it. Just, it definitely yeah. looks like it. Oh, you thought it looked like it before quarantine plan. I'm going <laughs> to wait till you see after we get through this. All right, so we've got our, <laughs> I've got our chicken, it's in the bowl here. I'm basically going to just tear it up into smaller pieces. And in the meantime, so just tear that up. I throw the skin in there because I'm just, mm -hmm. why not? <laughs> yeah, why not? I'm a I chef, love the right? skin. You know, you don't get rid of the skin on the chicken. So, okay, so I have all this beautiful corn chicken meat, and now I'm just gonna take some some basic vegetables that I had uh, in the fridge. I have like half a head of leftover napa cabbage. So I'm gonna take this and just very thinly shred it, and I'm doing sort of like almost like a Vietnamese style chicken salad, except we got kind of just whatever's in the fridge here. So. 
So Leanne, with the vegetables that you're using, people at home can just kind of sub out for whatever whatever, whatever vegetables they happen have. to have at home. This is cabbage, right? And I always have cabbage in my house. Um, I love cabbage. Uh -huh. But if you've got like bok choy or lettuce or romaine or, or uh, really any kind of vegetable, you can shred it and use it to make a beautiful wow. salad. So I also have this um, carrot. So I'm going to take a little bit of this carrot. And we'll just go ahead. Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just cut this up. This video is worth it just to watch her knife work. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard with the gloves on, I got to say. <laughs> this, this is not as fun when we're doing it remotely because we're not going to get to eat this when it's all said and done. <laughs> this, is, this is like a big, you know, I'm getting blue balls here. <laughs> Join whiskey and he gets to enjoy lunch as well, so... <laughs> The downside is we have to bathe our child later. <laughs> oh, good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'm just julienning some carrots here. Again, you can use radishes. Uh, I've got a cucumber here. Really, whatever vegetables you have in your um, fridge are going to be good. It's kind of like a chop salad, really. Okay. And, and how you're cutting the vegetables, does that matter? Uh, up to you. I mean, I'm a chef, so I'm kind of fancy. So I'm just, you know, I want I want everything to be in a kind of very similar shape. So I'm doing a julienne, like batons here. So I'm adding some cucumber right now. This is going to get a little uh, green, a little freshness to the salad. Okay. Some crunch. All right. Crunch. Hey, uh, cameraman, you want to take them to the garden and get some basil real quick? Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going on an adventure. Going on an adventure. I was like, I needed basil and I forgot. So we have some in the garden. Dun, dun, dun. Here this is, is great. So, it, so it's like cribs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on this episode of Cribs, celebrity chef Leanne Wong. <laughs> and her organic garden. What um, what else do you have growing uh, in the garden besides basil? I just I just got it started. So really, I got basil, uh, Genevieve. I got Thai. I got some nasturtium here. I'm trying to get going. The mint kind of didn't make it, but it looks like it's coming back in the bottom there. And um, now, did you yeah. did did you guys start the garden? Um, uh, because of of the self isolation and the quarantine, or was that was that already happening before all this went it, down? Uh, it was already in the works. I hadn't. I've been waiting for seeds and you know more dirt and all kinds of other stuff. But um, yeah, yeah, because because rye keeps taking all the dirt, so you keep needing to yes. order more dirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every morning, it's like he gets up. And he comes out here, and here's his dirt pile, and he just does some oh, salt. Oh, said rye, by the way. Wait a minute, we totally rye, rye. Right. Yeah. Oh, good catch, drink. Maleko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maleko, we got to get you an in-home bell, by the way. Cheers. Ding, ding, ding. Lauren, get okay. on that. Woo. Okay, so we got some basil. So I've got some carrots, some I have like half a leftover red onion. I've got some cucumber in here. Oh, that looks so fresh, fresh cilantro. So I'm just gonna take the cilantro and uh, just give it a nice rough chop. Uh, nice, nice colors. We had everything. mint. I would normally add mint, but all our mint died. So we're working I on showed that. them. <laughs> we're working on that. <clears throat> So lots of fresh herbs in here, and then we're gonna take some of this beautiful basil. We're gonna go ahead, is... just mince that up for a little bit of flavor. Add some of our basil there, okay. And now uh, we're gonna work on our, our vinaigrette. So I've got a nice little pot here, and I'm gonna start, I got a mortar and pestle. This is um, such a handy little tool if your child takes your garlic press and decides to cut dirt with it instead, press dirt with it. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a little bit of Fresno pepper here and I'm just going to chop up my garlic a little bit. We're gonna put it inside 
inside here. I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar. I'm just gonna go ahead and mash that up. And that chili and garlic is gonna be the, the core of my sauce flavor. We're gonna make a, a Vietnamese style nok chom, which is a, a fish sauce based sauce. Uh. But we're gonna add coconut milk and we have a little of this pineapple vinegar. This is actually a locally made uh, pineapple vinegar from Manana, Hawaii. These guys are local, so if you can find their vinegar, please, please support. And you can see, as I pulverize this, you get all that beautiful juice and flavor in there. And that is gonna be our garlic and our chili for our vinaigrette. So we're gonna add that to a pot. Mm, my God. I'm going to add watering. some brown sugar. We're going to add fish sauce, which I love. You want to plug the new fish sauce that you love? Oh, my God. The new fish sauce I love is called Mega Chef. My friends turned me on to it. And I'm going to add some coconut milk here. This is actually a coconut cream, so it's extra thick. And if I stir that around... We're gonna add a splash of vinegar and then I'm gonna boil, bring this to a boil real quick. Um, so I've got sugar, vinegar, chili, garlic, a little coconut cream, and some fish sauce. And so you're just kind of eyeballing everything for the sauce? Just a little bit of this, a little bit of that? I mean, I can tell you, so I did like one large clove of garlic and uh, maybe like half a Fresno chili. And then oh, I wow. added three, maybe a quarter cup of brown sugar. And then a quarter cup of coconut cream. And uh -oh. then like two tablespoons of fish sauce uh -oh. and another two tablespoons of rice vinegar. And we're just going to bring this to a boil. No touching. Hey, no touching, bud. I've got the dirtiest bear in Hawaii right here. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's your, what's your bear's name again? Rye. Rye. <laughs> Rye <with the> whiskey. <laughs> hey, Bubba. You're almost ready to, to make salad, okay? So I've got this, and we just literally are bringing this to a boil. I don't think it is. Nope. Okay. I don't have a lighter. Oh, I do have. Don't have a torch. <laughs> oh, wow, 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 wow. So Please don't melt my phone. That sounded like okay, a torch. It. <laughs> really? I smell gas. <laughs> All right. Well. Oh, wow. We're experiencing technical difficulties over here. This is it. It's like chop at five minutes. <laughs> 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 I'll just use the torch to heat it. <laughs> So, I'm squeezing a little fresh lime juice into there. Fresh lime juice just in the sauce. Yeah, just in the sauce, just to finish it. Gives it a little bit of brightness. And essentially, you just want to heat it so the sugar dissolves and the, um, <laughs> so the sugar dissolves and the coconut milk emulsifies into the sauce. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour this over everything, all right. Hey, can mom have those tongs back? Oh, that's okay, don't worry about it. All right. Okay. Your, your sous chef is about as helpful as my assistants are. Oh, yeah. Did you touch my Yuma let go? No. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he is. No. Sure, I, I can throw him in there too, why not? <laughs> 
Yeah, and then just gonna go right in the bowl. So, uh, Leanne, I guess we should ask this sooner. When you started with the chicken, was it started, did it start cold or did you heat it up first? It's like straight out of the fridge. <laughs> okay. It's a cold chicken salad uh, with like a, a Vietnamese coconut vinaigrette. And mm. um, yeah, it's done and it's delicious and I kind of want to eat now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, we do too, only, you know, we're not there. Hold Can on. we get a close up on the, on the, on the plate? It's delicious. Oh my goodness. And if you take like, you know, like jerky, French fried onions or little fried shallots on top, Ooh, really, really perfect. Some crunch. So Leanne, what's going on on Top Chef? Where, where and how can we watch Top Chef? What days is it, is it on? What can you tell us about yeah, Top tonight, Chef? Tonight, tonight, 10 p.m. on Bravo. Um, tonight, I get to meet Ali Wong and Randall Park. It was really, really fun. Um, tonight is also a nail biter. I'm pretty sure I make some of the worst food I've ever made in my entire life <laughs> on this show <laughs> tonight. Oh, no. Stay tuned. Watch what happens. <laughs> so that's, that's um, Leanne, that's 10 p.m. Hawaii time? Uh, I, don't, I don't even know. You know, here's the thing, Flash. I don't have a TV. We have, like, Netflix, and that's it. So, <laughs> and Amazon Prime. Um, so that's it is, just check your local listing. Um, I know if you can't, if you don't have cable and you don't have bravotv.com, you can, um, or Bravo TV, you can log on to bravotv.com and download it there, or you can watch it on YouTube or <laughs> Cover your mouth. You? Hulu. Um, and, you know, I mean, it's fun. It was a fun season. Um, tonight is no, no, no exceptions. <laughs> how how hard is it? People are like, people are like, have you seen the episode? Have you seen the episode? I'm like, no, but I lived it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> how hard is it to, uh, to keep the secrets of what's going on with each episode? Because I'm sure you have annoying friends like me asking, you know, what happened? How far did you get? And uh, you have to sign like NDA right. to keep careful, everything careful. a secret, right? Careful, ouch. Ow, he just peeled his finger. You okay? No, look, he's got blood. I know. All right, let's not film that. Okay. Oh. All right. All right. Come on, movie star. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's something that I, I went through this 15 years ago. So I was on the first season of Top Chef back in 2005. And then I ended up making the show and being the culinary producer for the series for four years. So I produced um, through season six when we won the first Emmy. Uh, I also worked on the first Top Chef Masters and I consulted on season seven. And so um, careful, don't hurt yourself, okay? Um, Put that down. You do it on the table, remember? <laughs> I have a little chef over here. You guys want to watch? All right, so some peels. Careful, 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 Very careful. Good. All right. Hey, okay. and I'm sorry. Down. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Watch. What's the name of the like I don't, I don't want to watch, but I want to watch. You, you should see him with a knife. Like, he likes to use a knife that's as big as he is. Yeah. Jeez, um, no, I don't want to see that. Yeah, no, I left, I left a head of cabbage on the counter one day, and he pulled the knife out, and when I came back, it was all chopped. It was amazing. Oh. And, he, and he had all his fingers and toes. There we go. Yeah. Come here. Come here. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Come here. Here, let's go like this. Let's go like this. This is our champion. Right. 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 <laughs> right. All right. Well, Leanne, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for sharing with us. Thank you, guys. Us we'll Leftovers. be there in about, Chicken salad about an hour. So I, don't, easy. I don't know if the wine is still flying, but we'll try and get there if we can. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you. Yeah, guys, stay tuned. And, you know, if you guys are staying in and watching Top Chef tonight, be sure and order takeout. There are tons of restaurants in your area that are still open and yeah. doing takeout, curbside pickup and delivery. So just make sure you're supporting your small businesses, okay? Yeah, how can we follow you on Instagram? <laughs> at Leanne Wong, at Pioneer in Maui, at Coco Head Cafe. Oh, come here. Let me kiss it. All right, Leanne. Aww. Thank you. Thank you, guys. We love you. Love you, guys. Aloha. Aloha. Be good. Be safe. Say bye. Say bye. 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 Bye
Bye. Goodbye. Bye. On tomorrow's Bye. Maleko and Flash daily self-isolation podcast, we have Kyle Rutner, um, brand ambassador and marketing director for Kohana Rum back on the show. He's going to walk us through how to make a couple classic rum cocktails. And uh, really excited about that. Um, we had a fun time with Christian Self, owner of Bevy Bar, uh, earlier this week making cocktails. And next week, we have a couple more uh, professional chefs and professional bartenders on the show because what else is there to do besides eat and drink when you're in self-isolation? Not much else. Make sure you watch our website for the latest details. Go to malecoandflash.com. Subscribe for the latest updates from our podcast and on our YouTube channel as well. We appreciate doing these things for you because you appreciate watching them. Be sure to share them with all your friends and we'll be back tomorrow. Bye-bye.